Hi, I'm Guillaume from technologyman.com. Today I'm looking at the Amazon Echo Dot, the cheapest smart device from Amazon featuring the Alexa voice assistant. The Echo Dot is basically a Bluetooth speaker which can respond to a voice commands with the wake up word Alexa. You can ask it questions, for example, Alexa, what's the weather today? Currently, in Horror Bridge it's 14 degrees with showers. You can expect more. Alexa, what's 100 grams in ounces? 100 grams is 3.5 ounces. Alexa, who is Winston Churchill? Sir Winston Leonard Spencer Churchill was a British statesman, army officer and writer. Or you can ask it to set timers, reminders and alarms, or add items to a shopping list, for example. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Alexa, remind me in 30 minutes to book the Drake for dinner. OK, I'll remind you in 30 minutes. Alexa, set an alarm for tomorrow at 7am. Alarm set for 7am tomorrow. Alexa, add eggs to my shopping list. I've put eggs on your shopping list. My favourite feature is being able to play and control music and radio all through voice commands. This works best if you have it connected to a music service like Amazon Music. If you have an Amazon Prime account, you have a decent choice of music already included with the Prime Music, or you can activate Amazon's complete music library for a single Echo device for $3.99 a month. Then to control your music or radio, you can say, Alexa, play Radio 4. BBC Radio 4 from Giddens Tune In. But Jeremy Corbyn hit back with the price Mrs May had paid to assemble her Commons majority. Alexa, play Jack Johnson. Shuffling songs by Jack Johnson. Or play Debaser by the Pixies. Debaser by Pixies. Alexa, play a song that goes like Thunderbolts and Lightning, very, very frightening. Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. If you have any smart home gadgets in your house, for example, some Philips Hue smart lights, you could ask Alexa to turn them on for you. There are, there are loads of skills you can download to extend the capabilities of Alexa. For example, you need to download the Hue skill before you can control your lights. Or if you want to control your Sonos speaker in the living room, you could download the Sonos skill and say, Alexa, play this charming man in the living room. This charming man by the Smiths, playing on the living room. Alexa has over 15,000 skills just now, some more useful than others, but you should be able to find something useful to you. The Echo Dot is a compact device with the footprint of a coffee mug and about an inch tall. It comes with a micro USB charger and no internal battery, so it has to be powered at all times. There's nothing stopping you using it with a portable power pack, for instance. Beside the micro USB port is a standard 3.5mm auxiliary port to plug in some optional speakers which I'll discuss in a minute. It has just four buttons, two to control volume up and down, a multi-function action button and a mute button that stops Alexa listening. Once you plug it in, a blue light begins to spin, which then changes to orange after a minute. You'll then be greeted and prompted to download the Amazon Alexa app on your smartphone. So follow the prompts to connect to your Wi-Fi network and complete the setup. Hello. Your Amazon Echo Dot is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. You'll be asked to select how you want to use your Echo Dot via Bluetooth with an audio cable or as is with no external speakers. You're then ready to start using the speaker. It's always listening, so you can immediately try some of the commands in the introduction. Even taking into consideration its size, the Echo Dot doesn't sound as good as I would have expected. For listening to Alexa's responses and perhaps the radio, its built-in speaker is adequate, but for music, I would highly recommend pairing it with some better speakers. You really have three options. The simplest being to use a three and a half millimeter auxiliary port. Plugging in some decent powered computer speakers is a huge improvement, but you could also plug the Echo Dot into your Hi-Fi. Amazon don't provide any auxiliary cables, which is a shame, so you'll need to purchase the correct cable for your stereo. The second option is to connect a Bluetooth speaker, which you need to do the first time via the Alexa app. So go to Settings, Echo Dot, Bluetooth, and pair your speaker. To rock box round. Now that you're paired, next time just say, connect my speaker. 
Even connecting to this inexpensive battery powered speaker, the sound is noticeably improved. Lastly, if you own any Sonos wireless speakers, you can use voice commands to control them via the Echo Dot. Only the music will play out through the Sonos speakers, not Alexa's responses. But this feature alone may be enough for you to justify buying at least one Echo if you already have Sonos. The Echo Dot's voice recognition is impressive. You don't need to speak particularly clearly or even be that close for it to recognise your commands. It did well even with the barrage of questions from my children, recognising natural speech the majority of the time. Although it usually recognises questions, it often struggles with answers. For example, Alexa, what is the Latin name for the autumn crocus? Sorry, I'm not sure. Whereas both Siri and Google come up with the correct answer. The answer is cold kick and autumn nail. Of course, Google is always going to have a significant advantage over other services being able to draw on its own extensive database. It's also possible to use the Echo Dot as a Bluetooth speaker to stream music or the audio from a YouTube video from your phone, for example. Say Alexa pair, then search for the speaker from your phone's Bluetooth settings. Connected to Giddens iPhone. Now that you're paired, next time just say, connect my phone. If you know someone else with an Echo device, it's possible to make free calls to them over your internet connection. And it's also possible to drop in on them without them even picking up. Fortunately, this feature has to be explicitly enabled in the Alexa app. I don't know anyone else with an Echo device and I can't see any time when I'd want them dropping in unexpectedly, although it could be useful for elderly relatives. But more useful to me at least is the ability to drop in on other Echo devices in your household, basically a hands-free intercom. So if I'm in the shed with an Echo Dot, I could say, Alexa, drop in on the kitchen. The kitchen echo in this case will chime and I could then communicate with this room as I like. To finish the chat, say, Alexa, hang up. To set up, you'll need more than one echo device and you'll need to name them appropriately. For each device in the Alexa app, go to settings, tap on echo device, device name. On the same page under drop in, turn on only my household. Then tap on the messaging icon at the bottom middle of the Alexa app screen. Tap on the user icon towards the top right and tap on your name. Enable your household can drop in onto your Echo devices and that's it. The Echo Dot is a reasonably priced entry into the world of Alexa. It has an impressive voice recognition and with some external speakers attached and a music subscription, it makes for a very capable smart speaker. And through the large database of skills, it can be extended in a variety of ways to suit you. On its own, the audio quality is not really good enough for music and Alexa's knowledge database is lacking compared to Google's but at £50 or $50 or a lot less in Amazon's many sales, overall I would recommend it. For more details, please take a look at my article at thetechnologyman.com and look out for more videos on Amazon's Alexa family of products coming very soon. Thanks for watching.